I'm told that volunteer organizations are having a tough time these days finding people who will participate in their various charitable works. People feel as though they don't want to be encumbered by the obligations of working together with others. And that is also spilling over sometimes in the life of the church where we hear people say that they can go ahead and work on their own spiritual life, but they're not religious. They're spiritual, but not religious. It's important, I think, to remember something that St. Augustine told us many, many years ago, that the word religion really comes from an understanding of being bonded to others, where we see that our spiritual life grows because of those relationships that we have with one another. Jesus makes that point here in the Gospel today. He says, I call you friends. Notice that he doesn't say to Peter and James and John individually, you're a friend of mine. But he says to the whole group, you are my friends. Jesus' disciples is a community of friendship. And so it's important for us to keep in mind, how is it that God makes friends? God makes friends much differently than we human beings. God makes friends of people who sometimes are a very difficult reputation. Jacob, who, who tricked his brother Esau out of his inheritance. David, who was a murderer and adulterer. Solomon, who went into idol worship. God looked for ways in which he would reach out to people, in fact, who were not either good or also like God. Sometimes that is how we restrict our friendships. If a person is good to our measurement or if they are like us. In fact, we have the word, I like a person because they are like us. Jesus also has that kind of friendship. Look at the people that he surrounds himself with, the places that he eats with sinners, as we're told in the gospel. Time and time again, Jesus reaches out to people who in fact don't have their act together and who are not like him. In fact, on the very night in which, before he died, he was with those disciples. He knew that some would betray him, others would uh, deny him as Peter did, and the rest of them would abandon him. And yet that night, he says, I call you friends, as we hear in the gospel today. So the challenge for us as a community of faith is to see that our discipleship is about keeping those friendships alive in the Lord that we are together the friends of Jesus. And that is, I think, an invitation for us to make friends the way God makes friends, to have those friendships, not just of people who are like us or that we like, or people who are just good, but realizing that we're all together as sinners in this community of faith, this community of friends, and to have that kind of friendship with God that in fact spills over into our relationships with others. Let's remember that God has gone through from eternity to time to make friends with us and sending his son Jesus. That's how far God is willing to go. So too, we must also make sure that there are no boundaries, no barriers to our making of friends within the community of faith. And by coming together, we can do so much more that it is really a false understanding of spirituality if we're saying we're spiritual but not religious. For spirituality bears fruit in the friendships that we make, the friendships that we make with each other and with Jesus who binds us together. That's the true understanding of religion. Those who are bound together in the friendship of God.